Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and today to talk a little bit about crescent wrenches. And remember, it's not a crescent wrench unless it says so on the handle. So these are genuine crescents, but somewhere in the 50s, I believe mid 50s, crescent made a big change. They came out with the crest alloy wrenches, and they are smaller in size and lighter in weight. They are made of a tool steel alloy. We don't know exactly what that is, but that allowed them to reduce the size and weight of the tool in all sizes, but particularly I'm talking about the eight inches right here. Presumably these wrenches are of the same strength, that is, uh, breaking strength, even though one is significantly smaller than the other. So if you compare the two from this angle here, you can see that the old style is much thicker than the newer one. Other than that, of course, their function is the same. This, I would assume, is just an older type of carbon tool seal and the crest alloy and there are other tools, uh, pliers and screwdrivers and, and so on, were also made of crest alloy which probably contain vanadium and other uh, elements, uh, metals, that gave it much greater strength. Perhaps we should say strength to weight ratio. So let's weigh these wrenches on the Toledo scale here and see what the difference is. The older style is 260 grams. I'm in grams now. And then the Crest Alloy is 194. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the two. Approximately 60 grams. What inspired me to make this video is I just recently came across this in a box. Now I have over a hundred adjustable wrenches, but this one is really beat. Can you see that it's bent, it's been pounded on, it's been abused and used, and the jaw is super loose. So this wrench is really worn out and is ready for the scrap pile. So I intend to try to scrap it. And the comparison will be with the more modern crest alloy, and I do believe there was a time probably when they made both, they offered both. Either that or they were using up old stock, but you're going to run into a lot of the older ones yet. Let me show you what I'm talking about also in a larger size. Now these are 15 inch wrenches, a crescent and a crest alloy, and you can see the difference. And this big one looks so cloddy in comparison to what the industrial designers, I, I think, also were in on this. It's tapered, it's streamlined, it's just a good looking modern tool compared to this old stodgy looking 15 incher. Let's compare the weight on these 15 inches. There's the old crescent. It's 1793. Let's call it 1800 grams. A heavy wrench if you had to use it all day. And the crest alloy is 1400, so that's 400 grams less and probably with the same strength of the tool, that is the breaking strength. Along the same vein, this one here is an 18 inch, very heavy, and again the 15 inch, and compared with the Crest Alloy 15 inch. Probably in your arsenal of tools you have some uh, similar ones, because I'm sure there's just a lot of these left. And these tools are a dime a dozen, they're at every garage sale, but generally in the smaller sizes, 10, 12 inches. So the gist of this video is to see if I can break these two, and this is very unscientific. I know it, and I'm going to use a cheater bar on them. And this is a hardened bolt that I will put in the vise, and I've, I've got a square nut down there. You know, it's hard to find square nuts anymore, but a wrench will get a better grip on a square wrench, a square nut, than it will, you see how far that fits in, compared to the grip that it has on a, on a hex. Now, what might happen here is that the wrench slips off 
and just rounds off the nut. That's often what does happen with adjustable wrenches and some springing of the jaw. Now I did a video a long time ago where I busted a couple wrenches so maybe I'll put a uh, link to that if you haven't seen that but a lot of people watched that one so let me put this in the vise and see what damage we can do. This is a one inch pipe two foot long and I'm going to put it on like that and I'm going to torque her down till something gives. Here's the setup with the wrench on the square nut and two foot of pipe and I will be exerting most of my pressure if I can way out near the end and I'm going to wear a face shield just in case something shatters. Let's see what happens. No damage to the wrench, it did slip off and round off that nut just a little bit. I'll try it again off camera. I won't get back to you on this one if the same thing happens. I'm going to try it again. Let's see what happens. Probably the same thing. Yes. Yeah, same thing happened. Apparently no damage to this old crescent wrench. Held up pretty well and it still operates. The nut being rounded. Now let's do the same thing with the crest alloy. Okay, here's the crest alloy wrench. The nut is so soft that it's just rounding the square nut off. I reversed the bolt, it is a hardened bolt, in the vise, so now we're on the hex end, and uh, this is a crescent wrench, the old one, not the crest alloy. I'll repeat this, see if anything happens, probably not. Nothing at all, and it came right off. And I'll repeat this with the crest alloy. Sorry to say these were very undramatic results. I thought one of them would break, but I possibly proved here that one is as strong as the other, which I mentioned earlier in the video. So it looks like no matter whether you have the more modern crest alloy or the, uh, the old style, they appear to have the same strength, at least in the 8 inch. And I'm sure that's what the designers wanted to do. But again, this is very unscientific. I would also have liked to have done this with a Harbor Freight or you know some other cheap wrench to see what happens. But, uh, let this video die just the way it is. I hope you found this interesting. I wish I had some torque meters like AVE and some of the high-end guys use to give you uh, more scientific results, but this is just what a layman can do in their garage. So long for now, it's Mr. Pete.